Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire washer snubber ring. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new snubber ring. The snubber ring is what the tub and the transmission ride on. The manager should be changing it out, so if it's failed, you're getting noise and vibrations from the bottom of the washer. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the washer. First thing we're going to do is tape down the lid so we can lift up the top. Once you have the lid taped down, you can use a putty knife to release the locking clips that hold the top down. We're just going to take the putty knife and go in about three inches from each corner and press on the release tab and then hold up on the top so it doesn't snap back down. Once you have the top released, you can lift it up and we're going to support it with a lanyard. All you have to do is hook it onto the top and then down to the frame. Once you have the top supported, you can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the bottom screws that hold the front panel on. Once you have the screws out, you can just push down on the front panel so it unlocks. You can pull it off and set it aside. With the front panel off, we're going to take off these two springs that hold the tub on. We're going to mark the larger one right here because there's a couple holes that it can hook onto. So just make a mark so you know which one yours was on. Once you have the mark there, then we can pull forward on the tub to take the tension off the spring. And then we're going to unhook the top. Once you have it free, you can let go of the tub, unhook the bottom. The smaller one comes off the same way. All you have to do is unhook it from the frame and the tub support. Now that we have the springs out of the way, we have access to the snubber ring. It's right underneath the housing right here. We're just going to take a piece of wood and get it underneath that and then pry up on it. And while you're holding it, you can reach in and pull the old snubber ring out. Once you have it out, you can pull it off the washer. Here's the old snubber ring next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at ApplianceParsPros.com. When you put the new snubber ring in, you want to make sure these arrows are in the up position. Then we're going to grab the piece of wood and lift up on the assembly again. Once you have it lifted up, you can slide the new snubber ring underneath. Once you have it underneath, you just want to center it. And then we can let the assembly sit onto the new snubber ring. Once you have it in place, we can put the springs back on. First, we're going to put the small spring in. We're going to hook it onto the frame first. Once you have it hooked on, we can pull the assembly forward so we can hook the other end onto the base. To put the big spring on, you want to hook it into the base. We made the mark and we can stretch it up and hook it into the support leg. Once you have it in place, we can put the washer back together. To put the front panel on, there's four tabs on the panel that you have to line up with the slots on the frame. Make sure you get each side lined up. Once you have all four in, you can lift up on the panel to lock it in. Then we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws on the bottom. Now we can put the top down. We're just going to take the lanyard off. And we can lower the top down. And as you lower it down, you want to make sure these two pins on each side line up and go into their holes. Once you have it lined up, you can snap it down so it snaps onto the front panel. Then we can pull the tape off the lid, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, 
Facebook, and YouTube.